determine the probability value. No. Listen to this. If they ask you to determine a probability value, what did you do? You got the probability. It's zero. So that's, you know. But you should know, I mean, you should know what this stuff means, right? Don't you think? It's not just computing a value. This stuff has meaning. Okay? It says meaning. It has meaning in your life. It, it's everywhere. So it isn't that you just say, oh, here's a value zero, and you not know what it means. You should know what it means. We've got to talk about what that means. Okay? You guys okay with that? All right. What's the, is there any more questions? Is, oh, E. Is there an E? Or five, I guess, right? Okay. What is this question? So what's the probability you select a blue and a what? Green marble. Well, let's think about this. Isn't that the number of blue and green marbles over n of s? Isn't that true? So does anybody, anybody know the answer to this question? See, how many people vote for 6 over 12? OK, how many people vote for 0? How many people don't vote? Looks about right. OK. Uh, do you guys know, what, is, what does it mean to be a blue and a green marble? How many marbles are you selecting? Let's note. How many are you selecting? You are selecting what? One marble. So what you're doing is you're describing one marble here as being what? This marble is supposed to be, here's the marble. It's supposed to be blue. And where's green when you need it? It's supposed to be blue and Green, is that true? So what does that mean? Good, it means that they are zero marbles that are both blue and green. Okay, out of how many? 12, again, the answer is what? Zero, which means the event of selecting a blue and green marble is what? Impossible, good. And again, why is it impossible? Because there are no marbles in that bag that are both blue and green at the same time. <laughs> oh, this stuff is just too easy. No? Okay, you guys, I know what some of you guys are doing. You know what you were doing? You were answering the next question. You're answering, what's the probability of selecting a blue or a green marble? Which is the number of blue or green over the total number of marbles. So, you're answering this question. What does that mean to select a marble that's blue or green? Huh? Right. It could be either the blue or the green. Is that true? So how many are there? Six. How many marbles in the bag? So what is this value? What is one half as a decimal? And what does this also mean as a percent? That 50% of the marbles in the bag are what? Are blue or green? Okay, it's these details that I'm talking about when people miss class and they don't, you know, they, get, they miss these small details that are vital and it's important. It means everything, having the small detail. You'd be surprised at what you can do if you just focus on the detail, you know. And something like this is important, and it's important enough to talk about because a lot of times students don't know the difference between and and or. Do you guys know that? 
the difference between and and or. So should we talk about that difference? Let's talk about it in more detail. OK, I'm going to erase all this stuff here. OK. OK, here we go. Do you guys remember set theory? Just to briefly talk about this, right? What sets? What's a set again? Huh? Yeah. What's a, no, what's a set? It's not grocery items. What is a set? What's the definition? Huh? Definition of a set. Yeah, it's any list of items, right? Collection of objects. Isn't that right? Any sort of list you come up with. So, for example, yeah, you can say a grocery list. And again, who's gone to the grocery store? Okay, you got what again? You have milk, bread, what else? Eggs. Juice, ham, fish. OK, let's say that's what you got. And someone else goes to the grocery store. Let's say they got, they got water, eggs, fish, OK, beer. Oh, sorry. Beer and beef. Okay. okay, and this is what they purchase at the grocery store. Now, if we consider the setting of the word and, and in set theory is represented by this set operation. It's called the intersection. Okay. The intersection, and the symbol of intersection is like, looks like this. Okay, so when you think of the word intersection, what do you guys think of? Huh? Like if there's an accident in an intersection, the intersection of Atlantic and what? Floral? Atlantic and floral. Here's Atlantic, here's floral. So where's the intersection at? It's where what? It's the portion of street that is in what? That is in both. It's where they cross. It's where they what? Intersect. Some people say it's where they meet. So what's happening here is that the intersection is a portion of street that's in both. Both Atlantic and, and what? Floral. It's the word and. So if you are asked to determine the intersection now of G with H, create a list, what would that look like? Well, what items are in both? What items are in the intersection? Well, let's see, is milk in both? No. Bread? No. Eggs? Yes, it is. It's in the what? 